Hi guys, so I want to show you a contract drafting and reviewing tool that uses AI. And what it basically does is it uses uh, ChatGPT4 and other language models to help you draft and review contracts 10 times quicker. So it's called Spellbook and they are offering a free trial. You can get the seven day free trial if you go through them and they help you on board or you can just add it as an add-on on Microsoft Word and you can try the trial. So that's what we're going to go through today. So I wanted to go through it with you guys so that uh, you don't waste your hours on trial trying to figure everything out. Um, I just show you want to show you all of its features today, and then you can uh, decide on whether you want to go for the seven-day trial and then purchase it later on. So the first thing that you can do is you install Spellbook, uh, register quickly. It won't even take you two minutes to um, add the add-on. And so the first thing you can do is all of the different features are on this side here. So once you click this diamond right here or just here, it will list all the features. So there are lots of different features. And then here are more additional features that you can use. So the first feature we're going to look at is obviously um, a simple uh, chat bot. So this is the contract. I've drafted a, a, a rough contract right here. And you can ask simple questions like, um, what your addiction, or let's say this. Um, what are the contractual responsibilities the landlord There we go. So um, you can ask simple questions, you can get answers. And then what you can also do once you get uh, these answers is um, ask Spellbook, uh, can you convert this into an email to the landlord? And then it can draft emails for you. It can create reports. It could create uh, meeting agendas, pretty much anything that like a chat GPT um, three can do for you. Or you could also um, access the feature um, on this side here. So once you get to review, you could say uh, write a review email and then it would do the exact same thing I've just shown you. So either you can click this, um, this section here, write a review email, or you can go through the long process that I went through. So on our contract here, another cool thing that it has is a draft feature, which um, I don't think a lot of contract review tools have. So if you click here, it can auto-complete a clause for you. So let's say we click on default and termination. We haven't written anything. We can simply click uh, auto-complete and then it can start to draft um, a clause for you. Now, obviously you can tweak the clause, you can write the clause, and it would ask you to, uh, if it can, can continue drafting for you. So it won't just draft the clause you've asked it to draft. It will also draft um, other clauses that you may not have. So indemnification, I didn't have a clause on that. Utilities, uh, quiet enjoyment and things like that. One of the features I did notice is that um, when it drafts like this, if you click um, back and you try to delete, um, it doesn't seem like the feature is working for me. So I'm not sure whether it's just me or it's the, just uh, something going on with Word, Word, uh, Microsoft Word. So we're going to delete that because there are, there are a few things that I want to show you. And then what you can also do is you can go to autocomplete with instructions. So if you go to um, autocomplete with um, instructions right here, place your cursor here and then you could ask it to draft something but you can give it specific instructions so you can tell um tell it to draft a default and termination clause but you can tweak certain things and ask it to draft that kind of clause for you next thing you can do is um, draft from precedence so this is the beta version but um, what you can do is you can add a document here for reference. And so if you have documents that you've drafted in the past and you want to copy um, some clauses from that, or you wanted to learn how you draft, you can simply upload your documents here. Next feature is the rewrite feature. So let's say um, this was drafted by an attorney or it was drafted by um, your legal assistant and you don't like the way it was drafted, you can simply um, ask Spellbook to rewrite the clause. 
So another weird thing is um, that I realized, hold on, I'll show you. So it'll ask you, sure, I can rewrite this text. Would you like me to fix spelling mistakes, make it more concise? Um, let's go with make it more concise. And there you go. So it's rewritten it for you, uh, making it more concise or however else you wanted to um, draft your clause for you. Once that is done, you can also um, head on to review. So review here and here are similar, but there's some differences. So you can um, basically ask it to explain a section. So if you have this section here, you can uh, ask it to explain a section. You can possibly want it to explain that section to, um, to a client. And then once Spellbook has um, explained a set clause to your section to you, you can just draft an email to your client or you can have Spellbook draft the email to your client. Next feature here is uh, write a review email. Um, I just showed you that. And then explain to a five-year-old. Um, it's quite similar to the explain section here, but I'm assuming that in some clauses which are much more complicated, you'd make use of this uh, section here. And then points to negotiate. So if you click on points to negotiate, what it will do is it'll go through the whole contract and it will give you some suggestions. So it can show you um, areas where the clauses or the contract is leaning too much towards one party and um, you could try to make the contract much more equitable. So it's picked up certain terms, um, the rent clause and the use of premises So and security deposit. So I really like that feature. Um, I think it would save you a ton of time reading and trying to think of points to discuss with your client. And then when you head on to the assistance section right here, um, that leads you to the chat bot that we've discussed. If you go to the review section here, there are a bunch of different um, types of reviews you can um, experiment with, but on this free feature, you'll get um, two tries, so two reviews. So you can get a general review, which is it will scan the document for obvious risks and issues and obviously um, spelling errors or inconsistencies in your drafting that you may have missed, uh, mind you. And then on the negotiation, we discussed a little bit about negotiation. We were talking about um, um, areas to negotiate in the clause, which you could make more equitable and things like that. And then there's the playbook section. Um, the playbook section right here is basically where you can um, keep clauses in a bank so that if you want to draft your clauses or contract, you can just simply click on those clauses as you're drafting. It will save you a ton of time just copying and pasting standard clauses, which you think are perfectly written. So then you don't, you only have to change like the states or you have to change the name of the party or amounts. And so you, what you can do is you can um, add different uh, playbooks and you can pin pinpoint them. And then as you're drafting, you can use Spellbook to to you to basically draft using those clauses. You don't have to write from scratch. So, and then here's the search feature. Once you've added lots of different uh, playbooks there, and then custom, you can basically um, provide instructions uh, to focus the review on any task. So if you tell it to review the whole contract, pointing out inconsistencies, pointing out um, spelling mistakes, or um, if you're looking for certain terms which aren't defined in the contracts, those are certain things you can review for. And then the next thing is the insight section. At this insight section, it will give you different suggestions. So it will give you suggestions like um, quiet enjoyment. I didn't include a clause on quiet enjoyment, but you may want to add that. And once it's told you, you know, add this clause, you can ask it to draft that clause which you don't have. So let's say... Um, you click on this draft section here. We're going to go through that and then we're going to add quiet enjoyment. I'll show you how that works. So you can click here and then you can draft a quiet enjoyment clause, which they're suggesting that you add. And then they're also suggesting a subletting and assignment. It's there, but I just haven't drafted it. And then points to negotiate security deposit. It'll give you um, some suggestions like the tenant should negotiate for lower security deposit amount. Um, things that your client would be interested in and that you can quickly um, draft an email to your client. And then if you keep going down to the terms here, it will help you navigate through your contracts much quicker. If it's a long document, you can quickly engage with certain clauses by getting information, asking questions, getting suggestions and things like that. Once we get to the draft section here, let's say we want to draft a quiet enjoyment clause as it's suggested. 
you can simply click on um, draft and then it'll draft the clause for you. What you can do is you can pin this and add it to, um, to the document immediately. So let's say we type quiet enjoyment. Enjoyment right there. Leave your cursor there and then you can simply click insert. And then as you can see, it's drafted um, quiet enjoyment done so um, pretty quickly. And so there was no need to actually even write that here. And so you can imagine if you're starting from scratch, you can simply have just the top of this contract, which is um, obviously the names of um, the different parties, addresses and things like that. And then you can start using um, Spellbook to come up with the initial draft of your contract within five minutes. And then you can just edit that, tweak it, um, to your liking. So the same way you've used um, this draft feature, you can complete these other clauses, which it's suggested for you. And um, in a matter of minutes, you've completed a whole contract. So um, I hope that helps guys. Your feedback is um, invaluable to me. Thank you for your time, guys.